A $15,000 reward is now being offered in the shooting death of an eight-year-old girl in Little Village this weekend. WGN's Megan Dwyer is live outside police headquarters with the latest. Megan. Lourdes, hi, Lourdes and Ben. We are being told that police have been working this case 24-7 all weekend long. This happened in broad daylight, frankly, on Saturday afternoon. Uh, police are now calling it an inter-gang conflict. They say, obviously, this little girl was not the target, but instead a 26-year-old gang member. It's just unspeakable. Eight-year-old Melissa Ortega was shot and killed Saturday walking into a Walgreens in Little Village at 26th and Pulaski, where a memorial now grows. I love my city, but this is, it's exhausting. Now, city leaders are promising to arrest her killer and somehow make the streets feel safer for the communities plagued by constant gun violence. I can promise you one thing, that the Chicago Police Department will spare no expense and will dedicate every resource necessary Bring to justice these offenders who have no respect for the sanctity of human life. Police say they are working with New Life Center Church and the Mexican Consulate to help the Ortega family. Melissa and her mother had recently come to the U.S. from Mexico seeking a better life. Obviously this little girl was not the intended target, but the fact that they are reckless and, and operate without any um, regard for the sanctity of human life um, we have got to stand up and stop them. Today, the mayor again pushed for her stalled gang forfeiture ordinance, saying gangs need to be hit where it hurts. And one of the motivations, again, is clearly blood money. Last year, police seized $25 million in cash from gang members. Police say no more innocent lives should be caught in the crossfire. We must all rise to this occasion. They have moved additional resources into Little Village, patrolling on a street level to target drugs and guns and prevent retaliatory violence. But many are questioning what will really change when the next child will be shot. There's no shock value anymore when we hear that a child has lost its life. And that has to change. A GoFundMe for the Ortega family has raised more than $50,000 to fly the child's body back home to Mexico for burial. Police are pleading with people who know the shooter to speak up. We do have people cooperating uh, with us right now, uh, and we do have very strong leads. Police say they plan to be relentless uh, going after area gangs for the next week, at least, especially in the Little Village neighborhood. And they are pleading with people, please, if you have any information about what happened on Saturday, $15,000 reward, you can call anonymously to the tip line 833-308-0069. Reporting at police headquarters tonight, Megan Dwyer, WGN News.